It's the OCG Fam Show. Is the magnesium sulfate in Nectar for the Gods killing the microbes in your microbial field? No, but let's talk about it anyway. Okay, okay. So the missus is out of town on business for a couple days. And as you noticed yesterday, I had that little milk steamer because I forgot to run the dishwasher and all the cups were in it. Well, I got up this morning and um, I forgot to run it again. So I turned the dishwasher on, it is running now, and I, I found this gravy boat up in the cupboard. I kind of like it. It's kind of kind of kind of classy. I might stick with it. I don't know. We'll talk about it. Anyway, uh clip today. I want to show you magnesium sulfate in nectar for the gods. And people think, "Well, magnesium sulfate doesn't that kill microbes?" But uh nectar for the gods is supposed to be good for the microbes. What's the deal? Scott explains it way better than I do. So I just want you to watch this clip and talk to me after. Uh <laughs> Vincenzo Gonella. I did pretty good with that, don't you think? It is. It's like uh, Cars the movie. Like he should be the one of the race cars. <laughs> the little the Ferrari one. Car. The little uh, Lamber Ferrari. Lamber Ferrari. <laughs> Lamber Ferrari. <laughs> Enzo. Uh, how does the magnesium sulfate affect the microbial life? I'm still unclear if sulfates are microbe murderers or not. Well, hey, manslaughter, microbe slaughterers, maybe not murderers. <laughs> Let's not get murder into this. There's no intent. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, no, there is. <laughs> He's right. Sulfur's intention is to kill fungal bodies. So, okay, so fair enough then. I, yeah, I no, I get that. In the yeah, so is, yes, yeah. it would be. in like If you were to concentrate magnesium sulfate, magnesium alone in concentration would kill your microbes because it's that super heavy metal that's reactive. So okay. it's all in perspective as far as the dilution rate. So... Magnesium sulfate in Medusa is super low. It's uh -huh. just enough to get a registration of magnesium, so we have that offering, but the sulfate alone is not enough to actually even register. So we don't even put sulfur on our label on that one because there's not enough. Um, sulfates, you know, elemental sulfur and the sulfates don't necessarily have the same microbial death as a pure elemental sulfur. Like people burn sulfur in their rooms to yeah. get rid of mildew and mold and sure. all those. Uh -huh. Um, but in these micro mineral forms, it's more about the availability of the sulfate to the plant because they still want to eat that sulfate. It's just not in concentration to kill the microbes. Oh, okay. Well, they use it for the the bud rot sometimes, right? Where the sulfur, well, it kind of, it'll it, stop it. It's a killer. <laughs> oh, it does. He's right. It murders. Yeah, okay. It murders hyphae. But in most as I mean, every mm. soil test we've done pre and post with microbial labs, with um, you know, with our mycorrhizae especially. We're not seeing die off from even using our lignin sulfate mm -hmm. because it's a lignosulfate. Um, it's just a carbon chain that has a sulfur element to it. So when someone looks at a label, they don't know how much of those things are, and that label is based on some principles of what the government wants you to show and not show, not necessarily what's exactly in there. There's just no. rules about that. And you could be all that or none that you wouldn't know the what the heck part. was going on and you i mean there should be a um analytical lab that goes along with it that'll show you the numbers on the actual if they make a claim for it they should have a number for it yeah it's like yeah what the heck is because you could have almost none in there well like i guess with mycorrhiza you could have one <laughs> mycorrhiza although no that. nowadays in most states they give, make you put an active spore count oh so they do do yeah, stuff CFUs, like that and if you don't have those then you're not um you get in trouble yeah. I gotcha. Or if you use the wrong person's or the right person's mycorrhiza and then you get it labbed and then you send the labs with your registration to California and they're like, that's impossible. But you're like, that's funny because it's from a lab that you sent us to. <laughs> <laughs> then you still have to dumb down your label. So there's Oy. no winning. But, you know, I'll do way more research on that. Everything we've seen through soil labs and soil tests and microbials pre and post and... There's definitely forms of sulfur versus sulfates that, you know, are more harmful than not. And at levels that, you know, with low levels, it's not harmful. And medium to high levels, it definitely is a control. So almost anything is useful or toxic, depending on the, yeah. the I mean, level you I have. I challenge you to get to Herc on the toxic level, but yeah. you could get to, like, Magamp, you could get to a point where it's just too darn much. Just, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and then at what point are you harming your soil? Okay. But that is a good question. Okay, what do you think of that? Helpful, informative, entertaining? Let me know in the comments and anything else you might want to talk about. That's the show for today. I'm gonna go have my coffee in my classy cup. I love you, I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show.
It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.